Welcome to Newton's Park A3, your anytime, anywhere, any place application for exploring force and motion through physics simulations. Let's learn more about its functions and features in this video. When you launch the application, you'll be in setup mode. Here you can build your designs before running your experiments. On the top right is your inventory, full of different types of balls, blocks, forces, ramps, and targets. Using the center stylus button or the left mouse button, drag items from the inventory onto the scene. As you place a ball or block onto a force or ramp, you'll notice it will highlight red. This means it can be placed onto the item snap point. In setup mode, because physics is not turned on, you can even suspend objects in midair. When you hover over an object and click the right stylus button or right mouse button, you'll turn on the object's context menu. Context menus give you access to additional tools and functions. Here you can change this ramp surface material. Selecting an object will also open up the property window. In here, you can adjust the ramp size and rotation. For the launcher, you can also adjust angle and force. For the Z-ball and Z-block, you can adjust their mass. Change your experiment's gravity by selecting gravity settings. Choose what planet you'd like to run your experiment on or create your own custom gravity on Planet X. Now let's run the experiment. Click the play button to turn on physics. Notice how the suspended bowling ball now drops? Press release snap points to release all balls and blocks from their snap points. You can now review the experiment and look at live data in review mode. In review mode, you can replay the test at full speed or even slower. You can also pause and pick a specific moment on the timeline or scrub through the timeline frame by frame with the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard. When you click on any ball or block, you'll be shown information regarding its movement at that exact point in time. It feels like you need to make an adjustment to your experiment. Let's go back to the setup mode where you can make adjustments to the design and then rerun the experiment. The following features are also available in our other ZSpace A3 applications. You can use the toolbar on the left to move objects, draw on the scene, make text boxes, and add lines. You can change your view using these tools. The edit bar above the scene allows you to reset the scene, undo and redo, cut, copy, paste, clear all objects on the scene, and delete individual objects. The main menu bar on the very top lets you save or load a scene, edit settings, open ZView, and exit. Ready to use an existing activity in Newton's Park A3? To launch an activity, open the activity gallery. Type into the search bar or filter through the various subjects. Once you have found the activity you want to use, select it to open it. Use the arrows to move through the pages of the activity. Read through the pages for more information and questions to answer. Once you're done, select the finish flag and enter your name and class. You can save your work as a PDF or copy and paste it into another application. You can also create and modify your own activities in Newton's Park A3 using the slide deck builder. Here you can create and modify scenes, add notebook pages, create different types of questions, and add definitions. When you're done creating, you can save it as an activity to be used with Newton's Park A3 by saving it as an NPA3 file. Or you can save it as a slideshow in a PDF format. These files can be shared to any device, with or without Newton's Park A3. Be sure to check out resources at zspace.com edu to find out more, including keyboard shortcuts. Have fun exploring!